Hey everyone, welcome back and today we'll be doing another lead code 495 Timo attacking an easy one. Our hero Timo is attacking an enemy Ash with poison attacks. When the Timo attacks Ash, Ash gets poisons for a poison for exactly duration seconds. More formally, an attack at second T will remain Ash is poisoned during uh, will will mean ash is poisoned during the inconclusive time interval which is t and t plus 1 duration minus 10 if timo attacks ash again before the poison effects and the timer of for it is resetted and the poison effect will continue the duration after the new attack you are given a non descending array integer time series where t it donates the timo attacks and the seconds and the integer duration Return the total number of seconds that Ash is poisoned. So that's it. And what we are given here is just an array and a duration. So let's take a good example. These are not good examples, I think. So a good example will be like 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So Timo attacks Ash at so we will be taking a duration just for example like 2 ok so Timo attacks Ash as at 1 so the duration will be lasting from 2 seconds at each attack so at 7 seconds it will be attacked again and 9 seconds it will be attacked again the whole you can say that sum will be 10 this is easy but there is a problem like if we have a duration again like just take 2 and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 6 and then 8 ok so Ash is attacked at second 1 and now the duration is 2 but he is being attacked and the very next second so what we will be doing is just the duration last for at attack one, attack one at second one will last for one second, and same will all of the others, and same uh, till four. So, but for when four arrives, then there will be attack lasting for two seconds, two seconds, and at six it will be two seconds, and now at eight we don't know what the next is. Like it may be a nine, it may be a ten. But by default, we will just know that the attack will last 2 seconds, so we will add 2 seconds. And that's it. So let's code it up now. So if not time series series, we can just return uh, 0. Uh, what are we going to return? An integer. Okay, yes, so then 0. And 4 i in range and will be starting from the very beginning and we do not want to include the last you can say digit uh, last element because we will be just random uh, manually adding it and we'll be making a total duration which will be zero so in our total duration we will just add like uh, the minimum of duration and time series i plus 1 because we want to look at the next index and see what the time is or how much the duration lasted of the poison and i and what we can do after this is just td plus duration for the last index uh, duration and after doing this we can just return td and this should work fine let's see if this works or not and this works let's submit it and that's it